this move marks probably the beginning of Zinav as a functional national park. Yeah, I have a very pragmatic vision of conservation areas. Conservation areas must exist for people and for the country. This process that Zinav is undergoing, it, it will ultimately end with a functional park that brings in tourism, revenues and jobs where Mozambique and the people that live around Zinav benefit. And Zinav is in the Inyaman province, it's very dry, very remote. So it can really be a beacon of development and a beacon of improved quality of life for the people that live there. Bringing predators is critical for that to happen. Today we've brought a leopard back. We haven't seen leopard here for the whole time we've been here in five years. Quite an event for us um, because we've been searching high and low for them and we haven't found any sign of them. Yeah, it's a great day for Zinov. We now have the lion, the leopard, the buffalo, elephant. You know, at the end of the day, it's tourism, and hopefully that tourism economy will start to kick in. Our sanctuary is pretty much up to 90% capacity, so the product is now developing to a very marketable point. And then obviously it's the product for the local Mozambicans. There's a national park. There's not many national parks in this area where people can see wildlife in its natural habitat. What I think that it's special about Mozambique and Anak is the willingness to collaborate. Leaving egos aside and working together. Yes, there's lack of capacity, but there's also isolated capacity. And so the, the key here is to, to bring it all together and make it work. We wouldn't be able to do it without the Karingani team, without the MWA team, without Peace Parks and Anak looking after Zinav, without you know a pilot that's willing to risk its own life uh, transporting a, a leopard under anesthesia for, for two or three hours. So I think that's, that's the critical key for success for what's happening in Mozambique. By introducing apex predators like these leopards into Zanav National Park, it helps to balance the ecosystem. As data on the leopard movements is gathered from their collars, it will be possible to keep an eye on how well they're doing. Keep watching Peace Parks TV to follow this incredible story of rewilding in Zanav National Park.